Hi, this is Steven, and in this video, I'm going to show you some little tips and tricks about working with frame spans in the timeline in Adobe Animate. First of all, this is a frame span right here, and I've got this swinging pendulum. So if I scrub on the playhead, you could see this just sort of swings back and forth, and I'm not done with it, but this is just a start point. But I'm going to talk about uh, this down here. What's going on is you've got a range of frames that's showing me that it's a motion tween. So the this yellow here is showing you that this is a frame span with a motion tween on it. If it were a different color, it would be a different type of layer. So right now, everything in this layer in Adobe Animate has this motion tween. So it's this symbol right here of my pendulum and it's swinging back and forth. And I have keyframes right here noted by the little dot. That's a keyframe all the way to the, to the end. When I hold down shift and I click on this, it selects the entire frame span, right? And then I can move it around if I want to, if I want to reposition it. And the kind of idea is that it's not here and then it all of a sudden shows up. But it's not what I want right now, so I'm going to undo. When I shift and select it, it selects the whole frame span so I can work with it together. If I want to deselect that, I have to kind of click off of that layer, or I can click off of the symbol that's up here in Adobe Animate's scene or stage. So the other thing is I can click one of these keyframes, and then I can drag it around, right? So I can reposition that keyframe if I want to change the timing. I can also work with multiple keyframes. If I click once and try to drag, it's going to move that keyframe. If I click and drag without letting up, it's going to select across multiple keys or multiple keyframes right here. And then I can reposition. I can move a group of them around. So the same thing here, I can click and I'm just, I'm not letting go. I'm dragging across a bunch and then I'm moving those. So it's going to work across keyframes. Since animate is interpolating, it's coming up with the in-betweens from here to here. Right, It doesn't matter what I grab in between, it's still going to be the same process that it's doing from that keyframe to that keyframe. It's going to keep doing the same thing from this keyframe to this keyframe. So it doesn't matter if I position it, it doesn't matter what's happening in between here, it's still going to do the same thing. It's just what happens to the timing from here to here. So if I play this through, you're going to see this goes slower, right, and then this goes faster. So that's kind of when you have keyframes that are getting closer together, they're getting in, increasing the speed that it happens from here to here. Here it's going to be slower. All right, so if I look at this now, you're going to see it kind of changes speed really radically, right? Which is typically not what I want with this pendulum swing, but it's kind of illustrating the point. So I can just click and drag and reposition them, right? And so I'm going to take this, that one's at 25. I'm going to move this one over here to, to frame 50, right? This one is 75. Right, this one's 100, I can kind of reposition them. The other thing I can do is I can click and drag at the very end, and I can scale down all those keys, right? So the whole thing is going to be going faster. Now I have a lot less frames to deal with, right? I went from being 150 frames or wherever it was to now 75 frames. So the whole thing's going to be faster. The whole animation's going to be faster. But if I wanted my animation to be 150 frames, it's no longer going to be that. Now it's going to be, it's going to be faster and it's happening at, at that frame rate. So if I get the motion the way that I want it to and it's happening just too fast, I can kind of click here and drag it out and I can have it run slower. Now, if I wanted to, it to go fast, but I wanted to add more frames, I can click and drag here. So let's say I wanted to speed it up, but then I want it to keep going. I wanted the animation to keep going. I go over to 150 and right click and insert a frame. And it extends my timeline, but it does not move the current keyframes. So then I can add more keyframes. I can come down here and then let's say reposition this. Let's say I wanted to kind of actually I'll move it, I'll rotate it this way, right? So I can add a new keyframe. One thing that can get you into trouble when you're working in this way, especially when you're selecting across multiple frames, and I showed how you can scale the whole thing up by dragging here. You can also scale this too, but the problem with this is when you do that, it cuts this piece out, right? It kind of adds some really funky stuff in here, meaning like it puts a new keyframe. This, this is a whole new frame span here. So when I hold down shift and select, that's what it's grabbing, right? And this is basically a separate animation than this right here or this right here. Something to be aware of if you're going to select across and, you know, a couple different frames and you're going to use this little arrow to, to scale those keys, it does scale them, 
but it also creates new segments, which is not really ideal if you want a continuous animation. Now you could go through and kind of remove them, but the problem with this is that larger dot means it's starting a new frame span. And this is kind of can kind of get you into trouble. It also can get you in trouble if you insert a keyframe, a blank keyframe here, or a, a new keyframe. You can insert a new keyframe. Uh, either of those can kind of get you into trouble because then they're blank, right? If you're not filling them in. So if you really want your animation, the same symbol to be ending somewhere, you really need to get rid of these frames. And what I can do is just drag across them and then right click and remove frames, right? So that way it ends up ending on that frame instead of continuing on to these blank keyframes. So a couple things to look out for when you're doing animation in Adobe Animate. And that's pretty much the basics of working with this frame span or what they call a tween span in Adobe Animate.